Hello, welcome to my channel and uh, in this video I'm going to explain the fifth question of uh, uh, second chapter from Convex Optimization book and this problem asks us to find the distance between two parallel hyperframes. Let me just go over the statement uh, little by little. So we want to find the distance between two parallel hyperplanes. But what is exactly a hyperplane? A hyperplane is a bunch of points in Rn that satisfying this equation. And, but this does not make sense uh, when we see this. Uh, but if we look at the special case, it will make much more sense. Suppose we have uh, this special hyperplane uh, with x1 and x2. So this is exactly uh, saying like a equals to 3 and then I have a x as uh, x1 and x2. So if we transpose x a uh, a we get to 3 and then we have x1 x2 and that is exactly what we have uh, right here. So we have this equation and b in our case is 6. Now I want to plot this. Uh, in order to plot this I should make the right hand side to 1 and by dividing by 6 I would get uh, x1 over 3 and x2 over 2. These little numbers in the denominators exactly tells us what is the intersection of the hyperplane and different uh, axes. So here I have 2 which uh, is associated with this two and I have three here. Now let's how we can uh, talk about more, uh, more about this uh, hyperplane in next slide. So there is a very very important vector uh, when we have a hyperplane. If we just uh, factor out every coefficient so we get uh, these two points and now I can say okay in this case my a um, uh, is 1 over 3 and 1 over 2 uh, provided that I have 1 here so if I were to draw this a that a 1 third for x1 and 1 half for x2 now I have this vector this little vector here and the direction is from southwest to northeast but uh, th this direction is not important for this question but uh, when we are when we study uh, half planes that uh, will be important for us uh, and Okay, let's get back to that little vector a. This little vector a is called the normal vector of the hyperplanes. Uh, and normal means it is perpendicular to this uh, plane over here. The, and uh, a is uh, perpendicular to this one. So we can characterize a hyperplane using the normal vector. Now let's see how we can... Uh, uh, use this for two uh, parallel hyperplanes. So let's say we have the first hyperplane as the one we discussed and the second one we keep A and then I ha just change uh, B to 12. Now if I do whatever I did for uh, the first one and make the right hand side to 1 then I would get this so this tells me that the intersection with x1 is 6 and intersection with uh, x2 is 4. As you can see easily on this picture, these two hyperplanes are parallel and the only difference that we have is uh, in uh, b's. Uh, one of them is 6, one of them is 12. So, but a is uh, the same for both because now I have a uh, as uh, one of uh, six one fourth and if I just uh, draw that 
this would be something like here along the direction of the previous a now i want to find the distance between these two hyperplanes by the distance i mean this distance which is equal along uh, this direction so you would get the same distance in order to get a distance i just need two points one here one here and then just find the distance but uh, i cannot pick two arbitrary points there are two special points and now we uh in next slide we'll see what are those special points so if i go along now without loss of generality i will change my hyperplanes to these two hyperplanes in rn and i just show them by a line to uh, have better intuition so i i have x1 on uh, first hyperplane and x2 in the uh, on the second hyperplane x1 and x2 are in rn b1 and b2 here are scalars so here we have b1 and b2 in r and a is in rn now what is this what is this direction that i have in a dotted uh, format here this is just my a so that means vector a which is this guy here that is vector a uh, and vector b is this vector here both are some multiple of a so uh, if i want to characterize x1 i first should say that x1 is on h1 i know that so it should uh, satisfies this in this equality also x1 is a multiple of a now if i just plug that in here i can solve for c1 to get b1 over a transpose a and a transpose a is just a uh, norm square and, and this norm is the two norm similarly i can do this for x2 and get this one so i now i have two points on the on uh, two uh, different hyperplanes and uh, I, I just want to find the distance between these two so I just take the norm of the difference to norm so x1 is b1 over norm square times a and b2 uh, uh, of minus b2 over norm square times a since one over uh, this one these these two are uh, in common and i uh, and both are positive i can uh, pull this out uh, and re rewrite this uh, in in the first uh, uh, equality second these two are scalar and i can uh, pull these two out on the abs as the absolute value and what i left with is uh, norm of a so i can cancel out these two to get absolute value of b1 minus b2 over norm of a and norm of a cannot be zero because it uh, um, if that is the case this this uh, will not be a, a hyperplane anymore so we found the distance as uh, uh, the difference between absolute value of the difference between b1 and b2 over the norm of the normal vector well uh, that was uh, uh, another video thank you for watching my videos and i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to support me have a very good day